বাংলায় কথা বলছি কেন আজকে ইংলিশে কথা বলবো কারণ আজকে আমার সঙ্গে রয়েছেন একজন স্পেশাল পার্সন তো আপনারা থামনেল দেখে বুঝেই গেছেন কে রয়েছেন তাও একটু সংক্ষেপে বলে দিই ইংলিশে পুরোটা বলবো একটু বুঝে নিতে হবে তো টুডে উই হ্যাভ আ স্পেশাল গেস্ট হি হ্যাজ ডান মেনি ফিল্মস ইন হিন্দি নাও হি ইজ ডুইং ফিল্মস ইন বেঙ্গলি হি হ্যাজ ডান এক যে ছিল রাজা অভিযান রেখা অ্যান্ড নাও হি ইজ ডুইং গোলন দাস ইউ হ্যাভ এভরি ওয়ান হ্যাজ হেয়ার দ্য নেম গোলন দাস দ্য মুভি রিলিজ ইন পূজা অ্যান্ড উই হ্যাভ অ্যালেক্স উই তাস ফার্স্ট আই উইল ইন্ট্রোডিউস হিম ইন আওয়ার চ্যানেল দুর্গা পুজো and uh it's just a a wonderful feeling to be here for the release of Golandaj and to see this beautiful festival uh, you have done many films in hindi now you are doing movies in uh, bengali what was the changes you have uh, found or what are the changes you have seen in two different industry that's a great question uh there are lots of differences uh, in the ways that we make film in hindi and bengali and tamil and uh English and all the other languages that I've had the privilege to work in. Um, but I would say that, you know, the, the biggest difference is that I think that in West Bengal, in Kolkata, uh, Bengalis approach all art uh, with a certain uh, passion. And, and I think that um, no one uh, anywhere is more passionate about cinema and making cinema than Bengalis are here in West Bengal. So, I always feel like uh, we're really making something beautiful um, when I work on films here. And, and as you've mentioned, my introduction to Bengali cinema was Aethi Obijan. Uh, Aethi Obijan was shot here in Kolkata. It was also in uh, Shanti Niketan. But we also went all the way to Switzerland to shoot a lot of the film. Uh, and it was a, a beautiful experience that was captured so incredibly by Somik Holder. And when I talk about artists, Uh, obviously, Srijit Mukherjee is an amazing artist, uh, but Salmik is the connection between Aethiopi John and Golandaj. He's the DOP of Golandaj as well, and he has captured uh, the football play and the scenes and everything that happened right here in Kolkata so beautifully. It's as beautiful as his work in Switzerland. So I was so happy that even though now I'm working with Dhruvo Banerjee for the first time, Um, uh, so McHolder was a familiar face uh, on the location shooting this film and he's approached it with such passion and such artistic know-how um, that I think is kind of quintessentially Bengali. Some of the best uh, singers and some of the best artists I know are Bengali so I always appreciate that art is in the soul of uh, Bengalis and, and so th- that I would say maybe not so much of a difference but something I appreciate a lot about working here in West we were talking about golon that mm. uh, we have to mention dev of because course. he is the uh, star in tollywood uh, industry uh-huh. uh, what was your experience working with dev my experience with the dev we'll, we'll go back a little bit farther my introduction in um, uh, bengali cinema was with prasenjit chatterjee yeah. uh, also Umbada, Umbada. that's right yeah. also a star and yeah. and deservedly so But I remember when I first met Prasenjit, I was not very familiar with his work. I knew that he was well known, I knew that he was an excellent actor. But I got to know him as a person, and as a co-actor, and a scene partner. And my appreciation for his uh, professionalism and his skills just grew from the moment we interacted. And it's the same with Dave. Dave is, of course, a superstar. Absolutely, no doubt. I've seen the way that people react to his presence. We played a football game yesterday. Uh, I had an amazing time, and Dave was absolutely mobbed. The, the public loves him, and They that's a fact. Work. Yes, that's right. Uh, it was a wonderful game. I scored a goal. I felt very happy about that. Um, it was uh, really one of the most memorable football games I've ever played. It was so much fun. It was the cast of Golan Dodge, 
and there were uh, some of the most amazing football players to ever play in West Bengal, some veterans of the sport that it was uh, humbling to have played on the same field with. Um, so yeah, Dave is loved by the audience, absolutely. But I know Dave as a friend, he's a wonderful friend, and a co-actor. He's an amazing actor, and he puts his acting craft above stardom. Mm. You know, there are often times when Dave will have to turn to the crowd and say, please give us a moment, give us quiet, because we've got to do our job. And, and the wonderful thing is that he gives energy to his co-actors. You know, as an actor, oftentimes uh, you're acting to a camera, yeah? Um, but when the actor will stand in and give you the cues, it gives you that energy to work with. And Dave always does that. He never walks away and lets someone else stand in his place. He'll give you the cues, and that is what makes for great scenes. Because it's very hard to act to a camera. It's, uh, it's much more natural when you have your co-actor there. And, you know, the beginning of my career with Chinikam, uh, Amitabh Bachchan does the mm -hmm. same thing. Or with Chittagong, which is the first film that I shot here Bader in West Bengal. Bader. Yes, yeah. uh, uh, Bedo brought this film. Uh, it was uh, Manoj Bajpai and myself and Barry John and Nawazuddin Siddiqui and Rajkumar Rao. Um, and yeah, Manoj Bajpai does the same thing. He'll stand there and give you your cues. And that's what makes for great scenes, when you have that energy between actors. And Dave and I may look like we don't get along, but in fact, we're quite good friends. The way that you make a great fight scene, the way that you make a great uh, football scene is by working together in tandem. It's more like a dance than it is a wrestling match because you're working very closely in tandem, making sure to watch out for each other's safety, but also trying to work together to make it look as good as possible. So we worked very well together and I look forward to doing a lot more work with Dave. He's a wonderful guy and uh, he really deserves every ounce of stardom that he has. I think you're going to see him in a different role this time though. Tell me something about your character in Golden Age. So my character is uh, Major Frederick Jackson. Mm -hmm. um, he is opposed to all of the things that you will see happen in Golden Dodge. He is a man who whose whole worldview is that he and his people are superior and that Indians are inferior. And he has to believe that because that's what he's been brought up to believe. Um, that's what he's basically been living. He is, he is here in India, um, basically the face of the oppressor, the face of the occupier. But that doesn't mean that he's a cardboard cutout. That doesn't mean he's one dimensional. Dhruva Banerjee has done a wonderful job of writing each one of these characters in a very human way. So even though you may not agree with him, you probably won't. I think you'll understand why Frederick Jackson does what he does. He does it because he's in a place he doesn't want to be. He desperately wants to leave. His one source of joy is football and he's finding that being taken away from him. And his whole worldview is being threatened by the fact that this one guy, Nagendra Prasad Shabardikari, is standing up and trying to change the way that the world sees India and the British. You know, it, it, this is such an important film because it tells the story of the change in a mindset. Um, what Nagendra Prasad Sabarlikari did was he didn't take up arms against the British. He didn't lead a protest against the British. He led a triumph against the British playing their game. He didn't challenge them to a kabaddi match. He challenged them to football. And football was the British's game. That was their game. So it was on their field that he triumphed with his team. And that was something monumental, something revolutionary, and something that made the world unable to keep believing the lie that Indians were inferior. And that is what brought about change in people's minds. And only after that change in their minds could they then claim their freedom. Because you can't claim your freedom until you believe you deserve it. And that's what, again, their Prasad did. And so Frederick Jackson is always pounding against, again, the Prasad Shabadikari. Um, they're rivals on the football field. They're rivals in society. And, and at the end of this film, this epic struggle comes to a head in this tournament and only one of them can walk away with what they most desire. So I'll leave I'll leave the audience to see what happens then. As we are talking about football, do you yeah. like to play football in real life? 
I love football, and, and I'm not just saying this. I absolutely love football. I've played football since I was probably six years old. Um, I've been a, a player. I've been a coach. I've been a certified official. I used to uh, referee matches, and even now in Mumbai, I try to play as much as I possibly can. I have a lot of friends in Mumbai uh, that uh, that also play football. You'll see them in this film. So you have Nagendra Prasad Sarvadikari's team. Obviously, you know a lot of those actors. There's some phenomenal actors. But you also have Frederick Jackson's team, and that team is made up a lot part, a large part, uh, of my friends from Mumbai that came out to shoot this film with me, and um, I, I think they got a little bit of insight into what I do as an actor. Uh, the first day when we woke up at 5:30 in the morning and we were playing football for 14 hours, and so they st started to change their impression that you know maybe Alex does work hard. It's not all just showing up, doing your makeup, and and saying your lines. Being an actor can be a difficult job sometimes, especially when you're making a football-based film. What is your favorite football team? I would have to say East Bengal. <laughs> they came out in support of our film. Uh, they've been incredibly supportive. Uh, it's a it's a historically significant team. You know, I I'm from the Netherlands, so we have Arsenal. Uh, we all have actually in our own villages. We all have our own teams. My hometown is Katwijk aan Zee. I know that's a tongue twister. Katwijk aan Zee, and our uh, uh, local team is called Quick Boys. So you know this uh, football culture that that is here in West Bengal is very similar to what we have in the Netherlands. Not so much in the U.S. In the U.S., professional football is not as big a thing, but in Europe, where I'm half from, I'm half American and half Dutch. Uh, the Holland side of me is a huge football fan, and and more than watching, I've always loved playing, and and that's one of the reasons why I, I really enjoyed making this film because it's a it's a game, it's a sport that's so close to my heart. And at the same time, this film is about so much more than football. You know, uh, it's a it's a fight that plays out on and off the field, but it's it's really um, uh, something that uh, has repercussions in the entire society, and and that makes for a beautiful movie. About Bengali culture, mm. what fascinates you uh, you about Bengali culture? You know, the thing that fascinates me most uh, is what I'm only now getting to appreciate. Uh, I've always seen Durga Puja from afar. This is the first time I'll be able to celebrate Puja here in West Bengal, in Kolkata, with my Bengali friends. Um, when you make a film, uh, especially like Golan Dodge, and you spend so much time with a group of people, and and you go through pain, and you go through happiness, and you go through exhaustion, Together, you really form a bond, and uh, I'm so much looking forward to a couple of things. One, finally being in West Bengal for the release of one of my films. Unfortunately, uh, when Ethiopi John released, I was shooting. Um, when Reka released, I was in the Netherlands. Uh, so this is the first time that I can sit here in the cinema halls with the audience and feel that collective energy, feel that the the terror. Uh, feel the laughter, feel the joy. Um, I want, I want to feel it because that's how this film is meant to be experienced. It's a big screen film. It needs to be seen with a group of people. It needs to be seen in a cinema hall. So I'm so excited for that. But I'm also excited to to share this uh, incredibly important, the most important uh, Bengali festival. To be here for Pujo uh, with all these people. That I care so much about, that I've really grown to love over the course of making this movie. It took us a long time to make this movie. We took eight months off in between to recover and come back and finish strong. So I feel a very strong bond with Druvo and 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 with uh, with Dave, with Solmik, and with all of uh, the artists that worked on this film and all of the crew that worked on this film. So you know I, I love being here for their most important holiday, and I know that I'm going to love it. Uh, I'm planning on going to a bunch of pandals. I'm, plan I'm planning on having all of the desserts. <laughs> um, Rushgula is one of my favorite desserts Mishti ever. Mistidoy. I, I, I'm. I have to watch myself. Yeah. Uh, I will always eat before going uh, to any of these festivals, so that I don't eat too much. Every calorie has to count because I don't get to play football professionally. I have to go to the gym every day, um, so I have to work off those calories. Every bite has to be worth it. So I go straight for the desserts. I, I I love Bengali fish. Don't get me wrong, um, but uh, it's the desserts that I'll really be looking forward to.
Are you feeling the puja vibe? I am. I know that it is uh, subdued because we're still coming out of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. India is doing an incredible job. I don't want to be political, but India is doing an amazing job vaccinating record numbers of people. Um, the last I heard, uh, adult population was something around 20, 22 percent uh, fully vaccinated. I think that's amazing. Um, I, I don't want to talk too much about the United States. I think that people there are um, misinformed when they decide not to get vaccinated. They're being selfish. Uh, I, I think that it should be mandated. I went to a mall uh, in Mumbai. They checked my vaccination certificate. I think that's, that's, that's the right thing to do. Um, because you're getting vaccinated not just for you, but for the community. And the faster we do this, the faster we can open up, the faster we can get to full capacity in theaters, um, and the more safe we are as as humans. Uh, and, and that's our responsibility to each other. And the sooner we can get into uh, football stadiums, right? And the sooner, you know, uh, we can enjoy all the things that, that we've been missing. Um, so uh, I think the Pujo vibe is, is correct. I, I, I think that it's subdued a little bit. I think people are going to be cautious. They're going to be wearing masks. The people that have had the opportunity are getting vaccinated. I hope next year it's as big as it ever has been. But I understand that this year it has to be a bit subdued. And that's all of our responsibility. I'm wearing a mask wherever I go. Uh, and I hope that, that you guys are as well. Uh, be safe. Um, but always, of course, Enjoy, celebrate Fujo. It is uh, an incredible holiday that I've always seen from afar, and I hope that you'll enjoy it and you'll celebrate it by watching our Pujo gift to all of you, and that is Golan Dutch. Uh, before ending the interview, tell something about our viewers about Golan Dutch. Sure. Which is going to release. Absolutely. Uh, first, one thing that I want to throw in is uh, my uh, overwhelming gratitude to the people of West Bengal for accepting me um, as an actor, but also as a musician. Um, whenever I talk to my distributor, um, I'm always told about where the music is most popular and my music videos, still on my mind in 20 days, have been so well received in West Bengal. I don't know if it's because of the artistic soul of the people or because English is uh, so widely spoken here, but whatever it is, thank you so much uh, for listening to my music. Um, it's available on all the platforms, uh, Sabun, Ghana, Hangama, Amazon, etc. So thank you and please continue listening. I'll be releasing another song very soon and I look forward to coming here to West Bengal to play it for all of you. Um, with regards to Golan Dodge, it's a very special film. This is more than just uh, a visually beautiful film, but that it is. It's more than uh, just a well-written film, but that it is also. This is a very meaningful film. It is uh, historical fiction, so um, the story itself as a whole is true, even though some of the events within it may have been uh, adjusted to make them a bit more dramatic and make them play well on the screen. Um, but it is about a moment uh, that changed a mindset, and uh, that change was revolutionary, and that change read, led to a revolution. That change led to the new Republic of India. And uh, Nagendra Prasad Sabadikari passed away only in 1950. You know, this is how young uh, India is as uh, a republic. And I think that the sacrifices that were made just that one generation back um, need to be spoken about. We need to be reminded because as I've seen in the United States, where our founding fathers lived 300 years ago, we almost lost our democracy recently. Um, our last president did not believe in democracy, and no one thought that democracy was so fragile that one person could make such a, a dent in it, could, could damage it so much, but he did. We need stories like this to remind us how fragile democracy is, how hard fought it was. Um, and I urge everyone watching, whether you're Indian or not, um, because I'm also from a, foreign, a, a, a former British colony uh, that also rose up and gained independence, watch this film for its beauty, for its writing, for its performances, but also for its meaning, because it's a wonderfully meaningful film. And, uh, and it's releasing at such an auspicious time. Uh, and it's meant to be seen on the big screen with your community, with your family, and with your friends. Um, so now that theaters are open, 
now that we can all go and enjoy films the way that they're supposed to be seen, please celebrate this puja with us. Um, this is our puja gift to you, and uh, we hope that you'll enjoy it. Namaskar. Pujo Palo Katabin, Safety Mene Chodbe. This Pujo, watch Field Gossip.